Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Executive Officer of HSNI, Mindy Grossman. Morning, everyone. Everyone at this conference is in the technology business or the commerce business or both. But what we really need to be in is the meaning business. By the year 2020, the current prediction is that there will be 50 billion connected devices. So that's approximately double what exists today. The opportunity that we all need to embrace is how to use all this technology to create relevant, authentic ways to help people live a life of meaning. So whether your business is 50 years old, five years old, or has been ideated in the last five minutes, there's a great opportunity for you to become a more dynamic, a more immersive, a more community and content-oriented platform that can help people ensure that they have a life well lived, that they can live their best life, and they can enjoy a connected life of meaning through inspired product, innovation, and technology. So how can you provide experiences, content, and products that motivate by inspiring real passion and joy? In essence, serving needs as well as selling product. And that can create an emotional return on capital, not just a financial return. And we believe that that's how you can inspire true loyalty. So in a world of fragmentation, disruption, confusion, and certainly an overabundance of choice, the value of meaning becomes even that much more critical. It is the essence of loyalty the way to build sustainable relationships, and the way to integrate tactile and human-centric experiences with a digital world. So the new world is going to all be about distributed commerce, audience-centric and platform agnostic. And certainly, the millennial generation demands it, with nearly 70% saying they want a seamless, integrated experience. And we know that future generations will expect it. Frankly, it's table stakes for the future of retail. So our world has moved from one broadcast content on 96 million screens to 96 million individual content messages to 96 million screens. So we need to leverage behaviors that are influencing customer shopping patterns and use data to inform how and where to engage with them in a meaningful and intuitive way, and to tell stories that both engage and inform. So what I want to share with you today are what we believe are five critical elements of technology married to meaning, and specific examples of how we're integrating these elements into our brands and our business and deepening our relationship with our customers. But before we begin, let me start with a few universal truths that run through everything. First, mobile is the new flagship. It is not a device, it is a destination. And it's truly the most personal device we have. It's the first thing we look at in the morning. It's the last thing we look at before we go to bed. It's where we get our information, our entertainment, connect with our community. And it's an essential element of who we are and our everyday life. If you think about it, the average consumer spends three to five hours on their mobile device. It's often more time than we spend socializing with friends. The second thing is that everyone is your competitor today. You are competing with the last great experience that someone had. It could be Uber, it could be Airbnb. It's not just another retailer. And agile is the new smart, and certainly time waits for no man. In Thomas Friedman's new book, Thank You for Being Late, 
It's the essence of how speed is critical in today's environment. So what used to be a five-year plan is now a daily plan. So we must be innovative and quick to adapt and prepare to help those who need help adapting to change, shut out the noise, and really access what's important. And never discount nor take for granted the hierarchy of human needs. However, in today's environment, that pyramid is now inverted, and self-fulfillment for people is now at the top. And finally, talent is value. So who is on this journey with you, and how you're engaging, motivating, and developing becomes extremely critical. So now, with that theoretical backdrop, I'll go into the critical five elements of meaning and examples of how HSNI is bringing them to life. So what I'm going to take you through is personalization married to meaning, customization plus localization, curation, generosity and impact, and experience married to meaning. So if you think about it, the primary factor in experience is personalization, recognition of the individual. We have unprecedented access to data about ourselves, our habits, and our lives. So how can we use technology as an enabler for the customer and personal interaction as a motivator? So if two out of three consumers say they're willing to share their data to be able to get a personal experience, and almost 80% said they have chosen and recommended or paid more for a brand that provides that experience, that's critical, but it's more than just product and content. It's also where and how they watched. So as I mentioned before, we've gone from a one-screen broadcast experience to a multi-screen experience. Almost 90% of consumers are using a mobile device while they're watching TV. We are moving from a broadcast audience to an individual story. And we're using what we call transmedia to tell that story across multiple platforms to targeting audiences. Personalizing the experience to the platform. Our Serena Williams fashion show, live from New York, is a great example of that. We had a front row, 360-degree, live stream, shoppable runway show that broadcast across all our platforms streamed on Vogue.com, People.com, Facebook Live reached nearly one million, Snapchat filtered to engage Serena's six million Snapchat followers, and we customized the shoppable video experience to the screen. Take a look. I've dreamt of being in New York Fashion Week all my life. You know, having this opportunity again is great. <laughs> I saw her walk up right and tall. When she moves, everyone watches. Don't fail, don't fail me now. I get you dancing to the dicky 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 to do. This is my town. If you don't know now, you know. Don't fail me now. right there. It extends to the HSN runway because all of the looks are available for you tonight. I was really inspired after Wimbledon and during the Olympics just on the strength of women. Wow, that was an incredible signature statement and we get to take a piece of that home with the incredible collection you just saw. And we will be doing that again this fall and integrating even more advanced technology to extend to all screens. Making something someone's own creates a different bond and attachment, and it inspires creativity. Going from mass and uniform to intimate and customized. 
We have thousands of customizable options with our Ballard Design Louis XV and XVI chairs. What it does is make the customer engaged, make them feel part of the design process, and creates intimacy both with the brand and the product. Our augmented reality capability allows our customers to take a picture of their rooms and place over a thousand items in place in the room to see if they can customize that for them. So it's both personalization online as well as dedicated retail experience with things like open environment in-store monogramming and customized design service. So research shows that people still want to engage and touch and feel in a physical environment. But you have to, again, make it customized, localized, and personalized. Which leads me to my next slide. Make every touch point feel like a small business with passionate owners that can deliver differentiated experience, because active involvement equals meaning. And most customers are more likely to engage with a brand after they've had it in person interact with it. So this is a Garnet Hill mobile boutique. It's actually a shipping container that has been evolved. And we had 32 active days in market in Exeter and South Street Seaport. Events included local celebrity chefs, artist book signings, open houses for afternoon and family, live music, more than 5,000 visitors, and those who shop not only bought at the boutique, but also online. So creating intimacy and community for us, who are even in a direct-to-consumer business, but finding ways to bring that to people in a customized way. We have our first front gate flagship opening at the end of May outside of Dallas. It has a coffee shop, a wine bar, a space designed for workshops and events to create local community. Curation. In a world where we're all reeling from what we call an impotence of abundance, how can we curate products and experiences that cut through all the clutter and educate, inform, and provide clarity? It's a 360-degree approach focused on creating ecosystems of things transformative for our customer. And it moves away from thinking of our business, our merchandising, and our marketing in verticals. We will be curating segments, authorities, programming, and digital destinations that are going to show consumers the use case for connected technology products. Programming will launch in May. Once a week, two hours, every week, all around the ecosystem of products and their uses. We're building a set for smart home that you can actually live in. People living in an actual smart home environment versus selling in one. And we'll be telling stories of use cases. So if you think about it, I'm sure everyone in this room knowing what businesses you're in, could use a little bit more sleep. So how can we help people do that? Technology can seem like a detriment to sleep, but technology can also be helpful. So we will have educators and sleep solutions programming that will be 360 degrees, from sleepwear to bedding technology, to sound canceling, to white noise, to how your baby can sleep better with a snoo things that are going to bring meaning to people. HSN started 40 years ago by an entrepreneur, and it's in our DNA. Our American Dreams program can change lives, add jobs to the workforce, fuel the economy, and bring value to the lives of others. Ultimately, we'll be an American Dreams channel across platforms and can be the ultimate destination for creators, entrepreneurs, and investors. We have had more than 10,000 product submissions. We've already launched, in a significant way, more than 125 products on HSN, and we launch products every Monday night in dedicated programming. 
We have eight product searches either completed or in the works and partnerships with more than 15 organizations. And we're proud to announce a new partnership with Girl Starter, who just launched a TV show where 18 to 24 girls, 18 to 24 year old girls, compete for seed funding for their businesses. So with a page from Adam Grant's book, Give and Take, we want to give back and inspire future generations of entrepreneurs. And we're going to be building out an American Dreams Academy that can be a foundation for mentorship, education, and learning. This is the ultimate combination of practical and emotional value and how that can have impact. And we just had our last competition at the Chicago Houseware Show, and I know that the team was incredibly excited. And when you have the power to mentor, develop, and launch, and really impact people's lives, that has meaning through technology. But compelling and reimagined collaborations also can create great meaning. So entertainment is very important to our company and what we do. How can we bring the customer in behind the scenes and give them an immersive experience? So what began as a passion to drive curiosity and imagination has now become a significant business. We have had, over the last number of years, more than 400 hours of programming and tens of millions in sales based on partnerships with Paramount, Sony, Universal, DreamWorks, 20th Century Fox, and Walt Disney Studios. Beauty and the Beast was our seventh and latest Disney partnership, and the film has truly become a cultural phenomenon. Our collection included 28 participating designers and brands. We started behind the scenes filming where the movie was being filmed. Our sets included actual set design, actual costume design, interviews with creators, producers, designers. And it launched with a 25-hour network event where our entire network became Beauty and the Beast for that whole time. And on set were also social media influencers, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, dedicated Walt Walt Disney Studios, Snapchat, and Disney style. So take a look. It's a tale as old as time. Papa? And now on March 15th, HSN presents Beauty and the Beast like never before in this year's most anticipated shopping event. Experience 25 enchanting hours of exclusive limited time collections inspired by the unforgettable fairy tale. Join us March 15th for the Beauty and the Beast shopping event on HSN. See the movie in theaters March 17th, rated PG. And it was our most successful event to date, and we will continue to create these unique partnerships because we know when people buy these products, they're buying it because they had an incredibly inspired experience. So what I hope you'll take away this morning is that combining the elements of experience with those universal truths are critical to the new retail landscape. In the book by Marie Kondo, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, she begs you to ask the question of every material item in your life, does it spark joy? And if it does not, you need to part with it. We live in a physical world, but we can use technology to enhance that world. We have to make decisions about what is eminently 
important to us. So as retailers, and most importantly, as humans, we need to look at every element of connection, of content, of product, and communication, and ask the question, will it bring value and meaning into our lives and to the lives of others? And ultimately, will it help us live a connected life? Thank you.